Why do global standards matter in aviation? The answer is straightforward. They ensure safety, efficiency, and harmony in international air travel. Today, we'll explore the International Civil Aviation Organization's annexes, which outline these standards. First off, Annex 1, Personnel Licensing. This annex sets the bar for the licensing of flight crews, air traffic controllers, and aircraft dispatchers. It's all about ensuring that those at the helm are competent and qualified. Next, we have Annex 2, Rules of the Air. This annex is the playbook for aircraft in international airspace. It details rules and procedures for air traffic handling, making sure that everyone follows the same rules to avoid any mid-air misunderstandings. Annex 3, Meteorological Service for International Air Navigation, is the weather guide for the skies. It provides the standards for meteorological services, supporting international aviation, ensuring pilots know what weather to expect on their journey. Then comes Annex 4, Aeronautical Charts. This annex is the cartographer of the skies, setting standards for the preparation and provision of aeronautical charts. Annex 5, Units of Measurement to be used in air and ground operations, standardizes the units of measurement in air and ground operations. It's about speaking the same language when it comes to measurements. Annex 6, Operation of Aircraft, is split into three parts. Part 1 covers international commercial air transport, Part 2 covers international general aviation, and Part 3 covers international operations, helicopters. Each part outlines the standards for airworthiness and operational requirements for their respective areas. Annex 7, Aircraft Nationality and Registration Marks, lays down the rules for the issuance of aircraft nationality and registration marks. Annex 8, Airworthiness of Aircraft, is all about keeping aircraft up to standard. It defines the standards for airworthiness certification. Annex 9 Facilitation is the smooth operator of the skies. It focuses on simplifying and harmonizing procedures at international airports. Annex 10, Aeronautical Telecommunications, comes in two volumes. Volume 1 covers radio navigation aids and Volume 2 covers communication procedures. Annex 11, Air Traffic Services, sets the standards for the provision of air traffic services and the coordination between states. Annex 12, Search and Rescue, outlines the standards for organizing and coordinating search and rescue services. Annex 13, Aircraft Accident and Incident Investigation, provides the international standards for investigating civil aviation accidents and incidents. Annex 14 Aerodromes comes in two volumes. Volume 1 covers aerodrome design and operations and Volume 2 covers heliports. Annex 15 Aeronautical Information Services provides standards for the provision of aeronautical information services. Annex 16 Environmental Protection also comes in two volumes. Volume 1 tackles aircraft noise and Volume 2 covers aircraft engine emissions. Annex 17 Security establishes standards for the security of international civil aviation including airport security and the handling of dangerous goods. Annex 18, the safe transport of dangerous goods by air, provides standards for the safe transport of dangerous goods by air. Finally, Annex 19, safety management, outlines standards and recommended practices for the implementation of safety management systems. So, that's a brief tour of the ICAO annexes. These documents underpin the global standards in aviation, ensuring that we all fly safely, efficiently and in harmony. From licensing to rescue, from meteorology to security, these annexes cover every aspect of aviation. They're the rulebook for the skies and they ensure that wherever you fly, you're in safe hands.